Hey, I'm Mark Tillerson. Uh, this is just a very quick video to show you how to add users to Webmaster Tools. Um, so head to uh, Search Console or Webmaster Tools. So that's google.com forward slash webmasters. Um, log in. It'll ask you to log in. Log in with the Google account that's associated with the Search Console or Webmaster Tools account. Um, if you're not sure what that is, then probably best we have a conversation about that um, or you talk to the person who's trying to get access to your uh, Webmaster Tools account. So, assuming that you have logged in, uh, you should then be presented with a list that looks a little bit like that, or a little bit like that. You will probably only have uh, one listed here, uh, depends how many websites you have access to. Uh, so head to find the website you uh, are looking to give access for, click on Manage Property, Add or Remove Users, and that will take you to a user screen. And from there, simply click add a new user, put the email in, hopefully the user uh, in question has given you their email address, it does need to be a Google account, uh, but just type their email in there and then you probably want to set their permission to full. Um, if we are managing an SEO project and that's why you're watching this video or we're having a look at this uh, because you've got some problems, um, then you want to really set that as full. Um, restricted does exactly what it says. It restricts our, or my, if you're trying to give me access, you, it restricts my view of all the data in the account. So if I'm trying to understand why you've got a Google penalty or why your crawl errors are, you know, gone a bit screwy or whatever it is, um, then I'm going to need full access. It only gives me access to data. Um, I can make changes to things like query strings and some techie stuff, but I can't really do any damage in complete honesty. Um, so best to give full access, especially if someone is uh, managing an SEO project for you. Um, and that's pretty much it. Um, they will get an email saying they've been given access to it. They'll be able to add, go to Search Console exactly like we did a moment ago, and they will see it in their listing, and they can access it and analyze it and give you some feedback. That's pretty much it.